IVAs are a specialized subset of chatbots designed to mimic human customer service agents for commercial enterprises. But because enterprises are more protective of their data, sharing research becomes more complicated. There are interesting features that are unique to the language in this domain, so we present a framework that allows the research community to understand how this language is unique when compared to human-to-human -human communication in the same domain. For this study, we are not looking at purpose of use, we are only looking at language features. One of the unique advantages that we had was live chat and IVA data from the same client for the same purposes. We also were able to look at the effect that the IVA had on human-to-human -human chat language after an IVA conversation. One of the primary success metrics for this IVA was live chat deflection. If the IVA is able to handle the frequent and easy issues, it will free up human live chat agents to handle the more difficult issues in a more timely manner. The live chat data used in this study was also used for the initial the initial training of the language model. Because a user is still able to go to live chat when requested or when business rules required it, we allowed for substantial time to expand use cases and refine the language model to allow for a best case comparison. For the IVA implementation in this study, there is no attempt to make the IVA appear human. There's no avatar, the initial message states that it's an IVA, and there is a nominal static delay as the immediate response reportedly felt uncomfortable to those who were in charge of user experience. Also, currently, there is no way to live chat without interacting with the IVA first. This is a reflection of the success of the implementation in meeting the quality goals of the IVA. At the conversation level, we see how much more efficient an IVA conversation is. Live chat takes 1.7 times more turns and 2.5 times more words. Also, we see that there is some impact on the live chat conversations after already having chatted with an IVA. There are more turns than live chat alone and more words in the conversation. The live chat agents are given the IVA conversation, so we believe that the live chat agent may not be using the IVA conversation as a uh, as a contribution to this new conversation. Looking at the turns themselves, we see the turns are between one and a half and 1.8 times shorter with an IVA. But not only are users being more concise, they're also being substantially more careful as demonstrated by the misspelling data. It also turns out that IVA users feel no meaningful need to express gratitude or meaningful sentiment to an IVA. One of the major concerns in implementing an IVA is the human impact in live chat centers. While we do see less gratitude offered to live chat agents, which is probably representative of the more difficult conversations, sentiment scores are not significantly impacted. For syntactic complexity, we see numbers consistent with shorter IVA inputs. However, there are two metrics that stood out, complex nominals per T unit and mean length of clauses. This may indicate a tendency of IVA users to rely on conveying information through noun phrases more than complete verb phrases. However, these increases were not reflected in users who escalated to live chat, and the reason for this is unclear. Live chat data is measurably not representative of IVA data. Training and testing language models using raw live chat data is not recommended. However, Live chat data can be curated to be representative by selecting the shorter, more direct language that is present there. Where there is no live chat data, we recommend a data correct collection strategy that is relevant to an IVA task instead of paraphrasing strategies or restatement strategies or relying on other open human-to-human -human data sources. IVAs can be great for users. An IVA can always be available instead of forcing a user to wait for the next available human to respond, and a user can, can accomplish a task more quickly and efficiently than communicating with a live chat agent. However, there may be a negative impact to the people in the call center. The conversations that they're dealing with will be more difficult 
leading to longer conversation times and less opportunity for easy resolutions and therefore easy positive feedback. The traditional success metrics for these positions will need to be adjusted to accommodate this new situation. Thank you.